Hello, my name is Reagan Pearson, and I'm a senior from Gretna High School. This is the part where I have a tiny breakdown. And the funny thing is, seven-year-old me would be laughing so hard at how nervous I am right now. But I wish I could go back to when I was smaller but somehow stronger. I mean, I could stand on my head. I would climb all the way to the top of the twisty slide and look out over the whole playground. <laughs> I didn't care if my hair was a mess. Marker tattoos scrawled up and down my arms and the largest grin spanning my entire face. I thought that if I reached out my hand, I could grasp the stars. Or better yet, I could pluck the Earth from orbit, spin it around the galaxy a thousand times, and have it back in place before snack time. I could do anything. I could be anything. The president, an astronaut, a zoo baker, I'm baking sweet pies for zebras and giraffes. I was full of hope and knew I could put any, do anything I put my mind to. I can, great things beyond a desk and crayons, beyond the solar system. It was coded into every line of my DNA, weaved into the very fabric of my being. But then I got older. People began to care about brushed hair and if you wore brand name shoes instead of a smile. And with each new glance, another barrier was built between my younger self and I. No more climbing up the twisty slides or moving the stars. No colors decorated my arms, and while my hair was still a mess, it wasn't from my time spent upside down, standing on my head. I pushed it all aside to be normal, even though I learned far too late that it would never be enough. There was always going to be something sticking out, needed to be sucked in, to be covered, to be changed. With each new edit to my identity, I lost what made me whole. <laughs> I've been trying to find that childish wonder. I want to wrap the stars around my fingertips again, to smile for more than a post. Now it's time for me to be brave, to dare to stand on my head and be me again.